Thanks for staying tuned. Water Resources Minister Suleiman Adamu says Nigeria is on the right path towards eradicating open defecation practice in the country by the target 2025. The minister was speaking during an online meeting with state coordinators of open defecation free campaign across the states and the FCT. Musbaut and Wahab reports to get Nigeria rid of open defecation. It is the first online meeting since the outbreak of COVID-19 in Nigeria between the minister and his foot soldiers. Driving this is assessing the campaign so far and the mechanisms set up in cleaning up Nigeria. Despite some challenges including financing, the report from the state coordinators put in place to fast track grassroots mobilization is encouraging. Since 2016, 27 local government areas are now confirmed open defecation free, while 10 more are only awaiting validation. Uh, we have cause to celebrate a little bit. Uh, However, 23% of the Nigerian population across 737 LGS still remain in the practice of open defecation. Suleiman Adamu maintains that stakeholders particularly state governments, have to double up efforts in this regard. We would have expected by now that all the 36 states and FCT would have been agog, you know, uh, with this WASH action plan and uh, implementing as much as possible. Some are doing a lot of things without necessarily declaring the state of emergency, but declaring, making a declaration, a state of emergency declaration is very, very important because that will tell people that, yes, this, now the government is really committed we are concerned and we are ready to commit. We are still taking baby steps, but I hope we will make that content leap that we need to make. Mr. President actually launched the Clean Nigeria Use the Toilet program last year, so the states are equally expected to follow suit, launch the same program, have their roadmap in place. As our nation confronts... Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo, who is the chairman of the National Steering Committee on Open Defecation Free Campaign, had earlier encouraged players to support the federal government's purpose-driven moves, which include states of emergency on the WASH sector and executive order 9 to ensure the targets of 2025 is met. In Abuja, Musbao and Wahab, NC News. And to talk more on the open defecation free campaign of the Minister of Environment is our water, sanitation and hygiene correspondent, Musbao and Wahab. Thank you, Musbao, for joining us on Nationwide today. It's my pleasure. Now, uh, Musbao, in that report, you highlighted, you know, some developments. Can we really consider um, this a progress? Well, when we look at uh, where we're coming from uh, before 2016, where we did not uh, have any single local government uh, that was open defecation free. Uh, mind you, we have some communities um, that are open defecation free, but okay. when we talk about a all local government being open defecation free, there was none, not even the federal capital territory uh, mm -hmm. that uh, met that uh, criteria. So between now and um, between then 2016 when Banliku in Cross River State it became the first open defecation free uh, local government area in Nigeria and then now where we have 27 local government areas now open defecation free we have 10 uh, local governments still waiting for validation uh, we can now say we have 37 local government areas that are open defecation free. Okay, okay. Uh, so you can consider that um, a bit of progress, but when you consider the fact that we're talking of a country of uh, 774 local government areas, mm. so we still have 737 uh, LGS to still to be cleaned up. So um, we can say we still have a lot of work to do mm. in that regard. Uh, but uh, what actually happened before 2018 was that there was no actually any a policy direction or uh, guideline in this okay. drive not until uh, the president declared state of emergency on the sector and then launched the um, national action plan uh, for water sanitation and hygiene sector so okay. now we can say if this momentum is sustained and uh, built upon uh, mm. we can uh, go places okay now tell us how are the state's governments you know responding and w what's more expected of them 
Well, first and foremost, um, it uh, should be clarified that this um, job of uh, sanitation uh, is primarily uh, supposed to be the responsibility of state governments and local governments and not the federal, federal. government. Uh, in case of water, the federal government is supposed to provide the bulk water facility infrastructures and all of that. And when it comes to sanitation, you provide a policy direction. And that is what the uh, federal government has done. But because uh, we failed woefully um, at the end of uh, Millennium Development Goals in 2015 uh, when it comes to uh, sanitation. Mm. The federal government had to come up and say, oh, we can't continue like this. We have to provide the guidance, the leadership uh, role. And now the um, federal government is playing that role. And that was what brought about the action plan. And then re the president said, now as from then on, mm. uh, the federal government's efforts uh, will be in um, in commensurate with what the state governments are able to put uh, on the table. So okay. if the uh, state governments are ready to work, the federal government is now ready to work with them. So the state governments are now expected to uh, domesticate the action plan, uh, declare state of emergency on the sector, wash sector, and as we speak, 16 states have done that, okay. uh, declaring state of emergency on wash sector, but we still have a lot of them uh, still to do, uh, do that. So uh, we expect state government to um, stand up to their responsibility uh, to clean up Nigeria. Otherwise, uh, we'll still end up the way of uh, 2015. Okay, now with all this being done, you know, any hope of meeting the 2025 targets? Well, um, there is hope, there is doable. Okay. Um, because when you consider the, uh, the country that was uh, the first in open defecation free before Nigeria became the capital of open defecation in the world, India, um, India had over 500 million people defecating in the open. But the, uh, the, uh, the Prime Minister, Namendra Modi, brought up uh, the policy direction and uh, political will. And in five years, they've been able to stop those people from open defecation. Okay. And here in Nigeria, we're talking of uh, 47 million people. So it's doable if, uh, since we have the po uh, political will now. Uh, okay. So we expect the state government too, uh, to follow suit and uh, legislate against okay. open defecation uh, so that any anyone who does that in the open uh, will be sanctioned. All right. Thank you very much, Ms. Baud. And we'll have our water, sanitation, and hygiene correspondent. It's been a pleasure having you here today. It's my pleasure, too. Thanks.